Hello everyone! Welcome back to General Math Made Easy with Teacher Joanne. In this video, we will talk about exponential functions and their graphs. What are the learning objectives? At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define exponential function, find the domain, range, intercepts, and asymptotes of an exponential function, and be able to graph an exponential function. What is an exponential function? It is defined as a function denoted by f of x is equal to a raised to the power of x where a is greater than 0 and not equal to 1 and x is any real number. In this function, this shows the relationship between the independent variable x and the dependent variable f of x. Based on the definition, let us now identify if the given is an exponential function or not. First, f of x is equal to 9 raised to the power of x. This is an exponential function. g of x is equal to negative 5 raised to the power of 2x. This is not an exponential function. It is because the base is negative. h of x is equal to 1 fourth raised to the power of 3x. This is an exponential function. And j of x is equal to x raised to the power of 4. This is not an exponential function. Looking at this given function, the variable is in the base, and this is what we call a polynomial function, specifically a quartic function. Let us now talk about the graphs of exponential functions. The graph of an exponential function can be described in two ways based on the value of the base. Looking at the first graph, we have here a function where a is greater than 0. If a is greater than 0, then the graph is increasing. Second graph, looking at this graph, we have here an example where a is between 0 and 1. If this is the case, then the graph is decreasing. The graph of an exponential function is a necessary tool in describing its behavior and characteristics. We can use this to find the domain, range, asymptotes, and intercepts. The graph can also provide insights to real-life situations that can be modeled by exponential functions. Let us now talk about how to graph exponential functions. All you need to do is to follow these steps. First, make a table of values using any real number. Second, plot the points found in the table on the Cartesian plane. And third, connect the plotted points using a smooth curve. Regarding the transformation of an exponential function, it is given by f of x is equal to a raised to x plus h. As you can see in this given function, we have the presence of h. And using this, we can now have the general properties. As for the domain, it is always the set of real numbers. Meaning to say, we can use any real number for the value of x. As for the range, it is set of y such that y is greater than h. So here, all we need to do is to take out the h value. The range can also be less than h once that there is a negative sign beside a. For the horizontal asymptote, it is y equals h. To find the x-intercept, we need to have the value of x when y is 0. And for the y-intercept, it is a value of y when x is 0. Other properties the function is 1 to 1. If a is greater than 1, then the function is increasing. If a is between 0 and 1, then the function is decreasing. The natural base e. The irrational number e has an approximate value of 2.71828. If e is used as a base in an exponential function, it is called the natural exponential function. And looking at the graph of f of x is equal to e raised to the power of x, it has the following properties now. As for the domain, we have the set of real numbers. For the range, it is y greater than 0. x-intercept is none since the graph did not touch the x-axis. For the y-intercept, it is at point 0, 1, and the asymptote is y equals 0. Let us now have examples on sketching the graph and finding the properties of exponential functions. For the first example, we have f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. 
For the graph, doing it manually, we need to have the table of values. So we just simply get any real number for the value of x. Let's say we have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. As for the values of f of x, all we need to do is to plug in each value of x to the given function, then solve for f of x. So we have 0 0.125, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1, 2, and 4. After having the table of values, we can now proceed to the plotting of points. So we need to plot all the points on our Cartesian coordinate plane. After doing this, for the step 3, all we need to do is to connect all the points using a smooth curve in order for us to have the graph of the function. As you can see on this graph, the graph is increasing. It is only because the value of a, which is 2, is greater than 1. Next is to find the properties. To find the properties of exponential functions, if there is a graph, we can base it on the graph, or if there is none, we base it on the general properties. As for the domain, since we can use any real number to x, the domain is a set of real numbers. For the range of this function, as you can see, we don't have the value of h being added or subtracted, therefore the value of h is 0. And if we're going to base it on the graph, looking at the y-axis, all the values of y are only found above the x-axis, therefore it's greater than 0. So the range is now set of y such that y is greater than 0. For the horizontal asymptote, it is the equation of the line of y equals the value of h. So since the value of h is 0, we have y equals 0. And looking at the graph, it is very obvious that the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. As for the x-intercept, looking at the graph, we don't have a point that touches the x-axis. Therefore, the x-intercept is not. For doing the procedure based on the concept of x-intercept, we have to find the value of x when y is 0. Doing this, we have 0 equals 2 raised to the power of x. In order for us to solve for the value of x, we need to make the basis equal or the same. But since there is no way for the basis to be the same, the x-intercept is none. As for the y-intercept, this is the value of y when x is 0. So solving for this, we have to plug in 0 to x, so we have y equals 2 raised to 0. And as we all know, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1, except for 0 raised to 0. So here, we have y equals 1. So the y-intercept is given by 0, 1. And looking at our graph, it is true that the graph intersected 0 0.01 here. And as for increasing or decreasing, looking at our graph, as x increases, y increases. Therefore, the answer here is increasing. And checking the function itself, we have the base which is 2, that is greater than 1, so it confirms that the graph is increasing. Second example is sketch the graph and find the properties of f of x is equal to 1 fourth raised to x plus 3. So step 1, we need to have the table of values. So use any real number to value of x. So we have here negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And solving for the values of f of x, we just simply have to substitute each value of x to the given function. So we have 7, 4, 3.25, 3.06, 3.02, and 3.004. Next step is to plot the points on the Cartesian plane. The third step is to connect all the points using a smooth curve. So this is how we do it manually. But if you're going to use a graphing software, you can easily have the graph of an exponential function. Next is to find the properties of this function. We can base it on the graph or we can base it on the general properties. So again, as for the domain of an exponential function, it is always the set of real numbers. We can use any value to represent the x. For the range, since we have plus 3, it means to say that the range is set of y such that y is greater than 3. And checking it on the graph, it is really true 
that the values of y are found above 3. For the horizontal asymptote, it is equation of the line y equals h, so here we have y equals 3. X intercept, looking at the graph, the graph did not pass through the x axis, therefore the x intercept is none. But showing it to you through algebraic method, it is the value of x when y is 0. So we have to change f of x to 0 equals 1 over 4 raised to x plus 3. Isolate this exponential form. So we have negative 3 equals 1 fourth raised to the power of x. Since we have a base that is negative, we cannot make this 2 equal. Therefore, it is true that the x-intercept is none. Another reason is we cannot have a base that is negative in exponential function. For the y-intercept, as we can see on the graph, we have a point that passes through the y-axis, and that point is at 0, 4. Therefore, the y-intercept is 0, 4. Solving it algebraically, it is the value of y when x is 0. Putting 0 to x, we have y equals 1 fourth raised to 0 plus 3. Any number except 0 raised to the power of 0 gives us 1. Therefore, this is equal to 1 plus 3. Therefore, the value of y is really 4. And that is true. As for increasing or decreasing, looking at the graph, as x increases, y decreases. As x decreases, y increases. It's the opposite. And checking the function alone, the value of a or the base is between 0 and 1, therefore it is decreasing. Next example is to find the properties of f of x is equal to 1 third raised to the power of 1 minus x minus 1 without the graph of this function. So based on the general properties, the domain is always the set of real numbers. As for the range, looking at the function, we have here negative 1. So since we have this value, this gives us the value of h. So we now have set of y such that y is greater than negative 1. It is greater because there is no negative sign beside the value of a. As for the horizontal asymptote, we just have to follow the value of h which is negative 1, and put it on the equation y equals negative 1. For the x-intercept, we have to solve for the value of x when y is 0. Doing this, change f of x to 0. 1 third raised to 1 minus x minus 1. Next thing to do is to isolate this exponential form. So we have 1 equals 1 third raised to 1 minus x. The left side of the equation is 1, so we can change this to 1 third raised to the power of 0. Note that any value raised to 0 gives us 1. Since the base on the right is 1 third, we need to use 1 third as the base here. So we can now have 1 third raised to 0 is equal to 1 third raised to 1 minus x. Using the concept in exponential equation, when the bases are the same, we can now equate the exponents. So we have 0 equals 1 minus x. Solving for the value of x, we can now have x equals 1. So the x-intercept now is given by 1, 0. For the y-intercept, it is the opposite. Let's find the value of y when x is 0. So all we need to do is to plug in 0 to x, so we have y is equal to 1 third raised to 1 minus 0 minus 1. 1 minus 0 is 1, so we have 1 third raised to 1 is equal to 1 third minus 1. Simplifying this, we'll be able to get negative 2 thirds. So the y-intercept now is given by 0 comma negative 2 thirds. As for the behavior of this graph, is it either increasing or decreasing, we need to look at the value of a. The value of a here is 1 third, which is between 0 and 1. With this, we can now conclude that the graph is decreasing. So these are the properties of the given function. 
If you would like to verify if your answers are correct, you may have the graph of the function. You may use any graphing software to do this. Always remember that in finding the properties of exponential functions, all you need to do is to take note the general properties or have the graph of the function. Now, try to answer the following items to check your understanding. Let's check our work. Domain is a set of real numbers. Range is y is greater than 1. Horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1. X intercept is none. Y intercept is 0, 2. And the behavior of the graph is decreasing. Did you get all of this? Very good. Try another problem. Let's check your answers. Domain is a set of real numbers. Range is y is greater than negative 2. Horizontal asymptote is y equals negative 2. X intercept is 4 thirds comma 0. Y intercept is 0 comma negative 15 over 8. And the behavior is increasing. Did you get this right? Great job! What are the important things that you have to take note? The graph of exponential function is increasing when the value of a is greater than 0. It is decreasing when a is between 0 and 1. Regarding the properties of exponential functions, you may take note these general properties. The domain is always a set of real numbers. The range is y is greater than h, or it can also be less than h if there is a negative beside the value of a. Horizontal asymptote is y equals h. X intercept it is the value of x when y is 0. And y intercept is the value of y when x is 0. And to verify your answers, you may use a graphing software to sketch the graph of the function. Here is the end of our discussion about exponential functions and their graphs. I hope you have learned a lot in this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Bye everyone. See you on our next video.